Oh yeah, do you kick them off the shows once they, yeah. We have a homophobic character this week, he's in for 10 minutes. And then we don't want anything to happen to the actor who's unfortunately having to play that role because the fans are such <laughs> so rabid. I hate you. What? I'm trying to show homophobia in a true light. Well, that makes no difference. You were Ron and we hate Ron. Uh, that was, a, you know, that was an interesting thing we faced on Queer as Folk was that some of the characters who would play the homophobic characters, because you had such an audience that was growing and really respecting these characters and feeling connected with them and in love with them, and then you have these actors come on, really courageous actors who would come on and portray a storyline as as gay bashers or as homophobes or the you know the guy at the office who can't stand, and and these guys would get so much shit walking down the street. <laughs> And they go, no, 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 they're trying to help us. They're trying to show what that's like so that we can create a storyline. And not really, the, we didn't, it's not a reality show at that point. That's not a real, not from Jersey Shore. Yeah. <laughs> Look it up online. Jersey Shore homophobe. You know, um, yeah. And, They've been through a lot here. Uh, I'm going to go with drag show. Um, uh, it's, and, and, and similarly, you know, uh, um, are you, um, for Dennis Negro, when you're portraying your storyline, are you aware of how it's affecting people? Do you hear from people, um, where, you know, letters in the street, meeting people pro or con? I mean, what's your, what's your, the larger part of your experience in that? Well, I, I, Other than hearing from the old casting director that you were just Why have you been working for four years? She was a woman. She was a woman. She was a woman. You guy. <laughs> I don't know about the street, maybe I'm not that approachable. But, uh, uh, well, there were, uh, after the thing was aired, and I was, um, I was really sorry about that because um, a little bit uh, going through that time was a little bit difficult in the beginning because after nine months, uh, this co whole concept of the show changed. And um, it wasn't a telenovela, it shouldn't, uh, we didn't follow the storyline that was about it. So actually, my support act wasn't part of the show anymore and I was there to support a gay coming out story and it showed very quickly after the show started to meet that beautiful young man to be heterosexual. And at that point I okay that's nice, so I've got a contract for one year, what am I doing here? And unfortunately nobody could really answer that question. Um, you I didn't think, me. You weren't even there, what's the problem? <laughs> We have a great, and we have a great bunch of directors who just really um, gather the writers uh, and producers from from that show. And um, very clearly, uh, well, very quickly, it was clear that AW that has this tone of irony, which is great because sometimes you know how that is. It's very good to see sometimes. It's just, how can you make that work? But okay, that's the problem. And it's so difficult. And you know what the writers mean? And the writers are just like, you hit me with that one thing. Yeah, but we have to do it like that. Please find something. And so um, I, I have, was very lucky that I had uh, Ino and Anato uh, to, to act on, on the show. It's, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's okay. I didn't be on the show anymore because uh, Roman got their roommate because that was the best that actually at the time was possible for that character. Um, um, so I had to do all the things. It was a little bit of a like a uh, family like father's story, where you just think, okay, I have to be more witty, more outrageous, and more funny. I can't just be the normal guy because if I would have portrayed Roman like a clown at the beginning, he would just disappear when it's been between all the other characters because they don't go rich at all the time. So I had to go down the t-shirt. And that went out the fabulous because all those characters are so crazy. And because of the irony and sarcasm, when I lived together with him, I remember that in the beginning I wasn't sure. I was, I was quite okay. They, 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 you know, they cast me and the ratings are getting better, but I think I'll have to go soon. Mm -hmm. And um, in the beginning, I didn't know much about uh, Andre, who was playing Eo. And <coughs> then the writer wrote a scene. And it was my first real scene that I interacted with Andre. And it was 
Ingo saw that I was doing a homophobic joke. Everybody laughed. Rogan, too. Hello. And then, oh, well, I'm saying here from six months, too. Um, Andre, I just have a little problem with that theme. Yeah, I, I mean, I, 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 I usually don't improvise. I, 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 I do what's written in the lines, and I try to make it work. But I, 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 I really don't want to do that, because I can't laugh at you when I'm making a homophobic joke. <laughs> well, I talk to my friends like that too. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's lovely. But, uh, unfortunately, love, the two of you, the high camera and the small camera, are not friends. <laughs> and, um, and it's like, yeah, that's just give me something back, huh? Um, I guess I'm just a very little thing. Um, um, that encouraged me in a way, uh, that's why I think you can talk to that guy in my friends, yes? Yeah, right now. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then they let me with the Roman book in, and, um, uh, Andre, um, uh, 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 uh Rika just went so generous in sharing the stage. <coughs> 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 <coughs>